Good morning, this is Shadi Dawi from TechX Media. Uh, today we have a special guest, very unique, Mr. Norm uh, Gilsdorf, uh, Vice President, Global High uh, Growth Region from Honeywell. Uh, good morning to you. Good morning, how are you? Good. A great presentation today, very impressive. The quantum technology is on its way and you are uh, uh, the pioneer in, uh, in leading this technology. Uh, Mr. Norm, tell, tell us uh, more about Honeywell capabilities in quantum computing? Well, let me start a little bit. Honeywell's a hundred year old company. Um, we're well known for the thermostat and we're well known for controlling refineries and petrochemical plants and airplanes and spacecraft and everything that's yes. ever flown, we're on it and controlling. Quantum computing is really about the, the development of the future and being able to solve complex problems that we can't solve today on conventional computers. Okay. And so quantum computing is gonna take us really into the future, which is what Honeywell's all about. It's about creating that vision and creating that future. So this technology will take problems that today on a conventional computer might take uh, 10 years to solve, if it could solve at all, and it might do this in 15 minutes. Okay. Um, because it can solve problems in a totally different way. Instead of solving problems in a series of looking at all the solutions one after another, it can look at all the solution sets at once and find the unique answer. Perfect. Um, uh, Mr. Norm, uh, today we are talking about Expo 2020 and uh, Honeywell is the official sponsor for the U.S. Pavilion. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there is an association association with also Expo 2020. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about this, uh, uh, the, the sponsorship of the U.S. Pavilion. What are you preparing? I heard that you are preparing something unique mm -hmm. for, for this Expo. And also about the association with Expo 2020. We have seen also Mr. Mohammed Al Hashmi, right. the chief technology uh, doing a speech. In, in this well, conference. we were involved in the Expo from the very beginning. The, the minute that uh, Dubai was selected for the Expo, we were super excited because it was a great opportunity for us here in the Middle East to be able to showcase both the region as well as our technology. Okay. And then when you look at the themes of the of the expo about uh, sustainability, about mobility, about uh, creating technology for the future. It, it aligned perfectly with, with Honeywell's vision and Honeywell's whole goal. Um, so we sat down early and talked about what kind of technologies can we showcase and bring um, to the expo to be able to tell that story mm. of the future. Yeah. Um, so we participated in with the U.S. Pavilion, um, both as sponsors, but also providing technology to enable the pavilion to operate safely and properly with a lot of our, our controls and security products. But then when we needed to think about, okay, what can we showcase? Quantum computing was really at the heart of it. Because when you look at this region, um, it's very much about connectivity, it's about mobility, it's about many smart people solving complex problems, and it's about sustainability, creating our own future. Well, that's what quantum computing is going to do. It's going to take all this data that's being gathered today from all these digital devices and we've got collected throughout, and it's going to take that data and it's going to be able to help solve problems whether it be in healthcare, whether it be in logistics, whether it be in travel, uh, encryption of data and all of that. So this was the ideal thing to showcase is quantum computing because it's something that's, that's revolutionary, it's breakthrough, it's never been done before, um, nobody's ever done it, and, but it's gonna be a key technology to creating our future. Amazing, uh, last question. Um, we heard in the presentation that uh, also probably IBM or Google or other, let's say, companies are working on quantum computing, yes. but uh, you have a competitive edge. The competitive edge is when you do scaling, uh, uh, when we scale up, uh, it's, it's about controls. Uh, correct, correct me if I'm wrong. Correct. So this is something uh, very important that you have uh, uh, this control or those controls, let me, let me say. Uh, can you tell us more about this? 
Well, Honeywell's two big advantages in developing quantum computing, as we talked about, are the fact is we're a world-class integrator of complex systems. We, whether it be on, on airplanes, in refineries, in buildings, we can integrate multiple systems together. Uh, the second thing that we're, we're very unique at is just controls itself. And quantum computing is about integrating many different systems together, yes. and then it's about controlling very, very precisely what's going on at the atomic level. And so that ability to control is a unique strength we bring with our integration to enable us to, to create this computer and to be you know, a world leader in this technology. Excellent. So we will see this quantum, uh, uh, we will see it in a, in a computer form soon. It's a normal, the well, audience probably, they don't understand. It's going to be a while. It. Today, it's, it's large. Okay. Uh, it's, it's the size of, uh, of a room or a building. Okay. And it's probably going to get larger as okay. it gets, gets smarter and it develops. And then as it evolves over time, it will eventually shrink back down. If you think about traditional computing, and it's, by the way, totally different from traditional yes. computing. I, I, yeah. But if you remember back when we were all very young, traditional computers took up rooms yes. and buildings. Yes. You know, and then it got down to, to these big things. Commodore now, 64. Exactly. You remember? And now and, it's and down to on our <laughs> cell phones. So this will evolve in the same way. But it's at that early stage where it's about building size, so you're, okay. you're not gonna you're not gonna be carrying it around anytime yeah. soon. So it's suitable for enterprise or Correct. for big companies. Yes, so but, well, it's cannot. suitable for anyone because you you basically buy in to leverage it. It's there to solve problems. Okay. And so we're providing to companies today the ability for them to come in and use it to solve problems just by you know leveraging it as a service you know they come in leverage what it does amazing amazing M mr norm gilsdorf vice president global high uh, growth uh, regions. regions thank you very much i mean there's a lot of things to talk about hopefully also we will have you as a guest uh, later on sure. on on our uh, tv channel uh, thank you uh, for the uh, great uh, presentation, uh, very uh, innovative, a lot of information we gained today and we wish you all the best uh, from TechX Media. Thank you. Thank